playing baseball. On. Settling in now, Brett Gardner. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Gardner. Lifted the other way out to left center. Hernandez will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Next for New York, number 25, hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. Here's a high pop-up. Smoke waits on it. And that's the second out of the inning. Batting third. First baseman number 35. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder Cody Bellinger. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he will get there to make the running play and that. So digging in now, Kevin Pillar. He'll lead things off here in the Leading bottom half the of the game. first. Center fielder, Kevin Pillar. Now a change up to start him out, but that's looked at down and in for ball one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they were the spoilers here on opening day as they took game one of the season on the road. Yeah, Matty, not easy to start opening day on the road and grab a W in the opponent's ballpark, but that's what happened. And they come into game two with a chance to set the tone in this series. One and two, here it comes. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Now another one, two. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. That wasn't a terrible pitch right there. But if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball a little bit further Three. down. Maybe even potentially bounce the next one. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One that away. Second. Second baseman. Ready Seven. with the first pitch. Here it comes. A changeup right on the outside corner for a strike. Montgomery, a native of South Carolina. He was a fourth round selection during the 2014 draft. Hey, when you come out of the middle round, you have to grind for everything, and that's exactly what this guy has done, and he has turned himself into a solid big league ball player. Man, you find yourself down 0-2 after two great executed pitches right there. Got to look for something up. Might have to tip your hat if he can stay down below the knees like that. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Devin Travis becomes out number two this inning. So striding in, Josh Donaldson will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. You want to talk about setting the tone and getting your teammates relaxed? That's exactly what this pitcher did, coming in and punching tickets. First two batters of the game. A one and one count now to Donaldson. Two out, nobody on. The one two is swung on and missed. He got him. Riding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Aaron Judge. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. First offering on its way. And he goes with the pitch here and drives it the other way to deep right. Gone to lead off the inning. Well, it's obvious they didn't change their scouting report after yesterday's game. He had two bombs yesterday and another one today. Hey, this pace can't continue, but he's going to ride this wave as long as he can. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Loud noises right here, fellas. Hey, he's going to have to mix it up a little bit more because they are on this stuff. In now, Gary Sanchez, as he swings and lifts it in the air out to shallow right field. There to play it is Gritchick, and that's the first down. 
All right, guys, time for a look at how the Toronto Blue Jays set up on defense today. And the guy behind the dish today, Canadian-born Russell Martin. He's been a catcher his entire career, but I'll tell you what, some of the softest hands in the game. Meanwhile, this ball is into right center, and that ought to be good enough for extra bases. Bell rounds the corner and is headed home. And he's safe at the plate as they extend their lead to two. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Look, guys, as the Jays take the field here tonight, they didn't get it done here in front of a big opening day crowd, but they'll look to get back on track here. Yeah, Matty, I know it's not do or die. It's only game two of the season, but you never want to drop the home opener, and you certainly don't want to find yourselves 0-2 when you leave the ballpark today. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. He'll get it into second, but he'll get in there with an RBI double. Well, we've already had some hard hit balls in the first two innings here, and here's another one. Absolutely jumped off his bat and into the outfield, bringing another run home here in the early going. First pitch on its way. Liner into right center. That's a base hit. And another runs across as this is now a 4-0 ball game. Yeah, Dan, he's got to feel pretty good about that. Not only did he have a great A-B, first pitch hacking, but he smoked that ball to mix in a ribby knock. Well, he did. He must have had a pretty good plan of attack walking into that batter's box, and he had an idea of the pitch that he was going to get, and, boy, he sure turned it loose and buggy whipped that one. Here's Brett Gardner now. As he'll swing at the first pitch and bang one into right center field, that's a base hit. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in early counts. Now, this has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two ways, Matty. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound, and they are just going to ambush tactics, and it seems to work for them. Or you can look at it the other way. They're just getting lucky. Into the box, number 25. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. High in the air out towards shallow right. Gritcher has it in his tracks. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting. First baseman. Cody. Digging in to try it again. Cody Bellinger. He flew out in his last at bat. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hot shot on the ground is short. Oh, look at the sliding stop. Got him. Oh, and that. Here's Justin Smoke now. He was hitless in yesterday's shutout loss, as were many of his teammates. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Behind 0-2 now. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. All right, here's how the Bronx Bombers are going to set up defensively today. The guy I want to spot Henry. shadow today More is Cody right. Bellinger. Versatility is his game. The bat plays no matter where he hits in a lineup, but a guy who can play gold glove first base and move to the outfield. Slow roller back to the mound. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And danger now is standing in as the fine shortstop, Troy Tulowitzki. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. A ball and a strike that counts a too low now. Blue Jays shortstop with a one and two count. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can 
obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Blue Jays go down in order. They trail. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Aaron Judge. As we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Josh Bell the next to hit. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. He takes it to the opposite field. High and deep to left. And that's off the left field wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. Man, they already hit one home run, and I thought they had a second one right there. Not quite enough behind it, though, as it banged off the wall for a double. He's giving up a fair amount of solid contact right now. Standing in now, Gary Sanchez hit the other way out toward right field. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Ready for another chance. Corey Seager, runner in scoring position Corey with two Here comes the first pitch. This is line to left. Hernandez is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential. Here's Randall Gritchick, 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much Toronto. going on offensively Ryan so far Taylor. for these guys. Six Randall up, six Richard. down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Hit on the ground is short. And that's the first hit in this one for the Blue Jays. So that'll bring in Teoscar hey, hey. Hernandez. Runner at first to start the inning. And Dan, when it comes to pitching in the rain, what changes? I think the most difficult part, Matt, is the ball gets slippery. It's hard to keep your hands dry. If you don't have a good feel on that grip, it's hard to control where you're going to throw the ball. Kane is under it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Stepping in for the Jays, Russell Martin. He'll get to take his Russell first cuts here. Martin. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. Oh, it's hit to third, five. Four, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. In now is Lorenzo Kane. We begin the, the top of the fourth. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit in the air to right field, and that'll get down for a base hit. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. Well, you see that happen quite a bit at the big league level, Dero. Breaking ball up and away. Hard slider up out of the zone. Hit for a bullet for a base hit. Yeah, Dan, you try and look for it to pop out above the pitcher's hand. And that usually signifies that it's going to be something breaking. That was actually a slider. So nice job by the offensive player. Not only recognizing it, but not trying to do too much. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Waiting on it is Hernandez. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So back to the top of the Yankee Brett. order. Digging in. Brett Gardner, one for two in the ball game thus far. Kane runs. Owen won the count. A one count. Here's the pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Well hit the other way again. It's into the gap. Kane rounds third and is digging for the plate. The relay. And they're not going to get Gardner. He's in there with a triple. 
That could prove to be a big run in this one, guys. Well, this triple brings in another run. If they don't stop the bleeding quick and start answering back, they're going to have a hill too steep to climb. From the stretch. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line in right. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And add one more as this is now a 6-0 ball game. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder Cody Bellinger. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Hernandez is over to his right and he puts this one away for out number two. Here's big Aaron Judd. He's working on a one for two game so far. He's set and the pitch. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. I mean, there's no seeker right now. There's a fight in the background. Everybody wants up at the plate right now. They're feeling frisky. They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's working. Josh Bell the next to hit. Q shot here out towards short. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Beggars can't be choosers right there. <laughs> we love those long darts. Doesn't matter how they come. Jam off the end of the bat, doesn't matter. Joe Biagini answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from the starter. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. And it's gone. Now Here's Corey Seager. Corey Seager. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Swing and another one deep out to center field. Ranging back is Pilar. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Strike. Leading off the Blue Jays fourth, center fielder, Kevin Pilar. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Blue Jays. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Gary Sanchez. It was a walk in his last trip. No balls and a strike to count. That fastball must have. Now here's the pitch. Hit in the air to right field. And the eighth will start with a bang as this should be extra bases. And now this is thrown wildly just getting it into the infield. That was a great job of driving that ball. Extending his arms very well was able to get it over the right fielder's head. One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. Hit sharply on the ground. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Digging in and looking for more, Lorenzo Kane. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Drives it out to deep right center field. Ranging back is Pilar, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. And he is in at third base with an RBI triple. Now batting. Third base. Digging in once again, Jake Lamb. He went down on strikes last time up. I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. That's his third RBI of the game and extends his team's lead. They might have this one locked up. Boy, I tell you, those are always big, those add-on insurance runs. Big RBI right there for a little bit more breathing room. Now it's driven the other way with some authority, headed toward the foul pole. It'll die on the warning track as the catch is made, and here comes the runner from third. 
And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Hey, every pitcher likes to have some runs scored for him, but particularly when you're throwing as well as he is tonight, and he gets another insurance run on top of it. Here's Brett Gardner now. He was a ground out victim last time up. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Hernandez is going to have room out there as he. Ready for another shot now. Devin Travis. He leads off their half of the eighth. And they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him. Now take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Hit on the ground out to short. To his right, Seeger throws in time, and that's out number one. Third baseman, number 20, Chuck Donaldson. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Squared that one up just a little late. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in two. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Now batter. First baseman. Justin. Oh. Here's the 0-1. Swing and a miss on a nice biting slider. That's a real tough pitch to hit. That's as in the pitcher's jargon, we call that the Hall of Fame pitch. That and the throw to first is there. The inning is over. One, two, three, go the blue. Digging in now for the Yankees. Number 25. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Number 25. Tapper up the line. That's a foul ball. Hit the other way out toward right field. Gritchett is there. One quick out to start inning number nine. Now batting. First Stepping in, Cody Bellinger. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Waiting on it is Hernandez. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting. So here's the cleanup hitter, Aaron Judge. And he's got a shot at history here, but he'll need a triple to complete the cycle. Oh, and this one's driven the other way and deep to the corner. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. Oh, and he looks like a new man out there as this is swung on and missed. It's 0-2 now. Now he drops a changeup on him. Strike three called, and a great pitch there to retire the. Here's Kendry's Morales starting things for his side in the Leading ninth as they the face the, the improbable odds of trying to come Kendrick back in this one. Yeah, Kendrick. not a lot of hope for them All at this right. point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances now, as a professional. Number two, Troy. Hit Tuna high in the team. air down the right field line. Judge is on his horse. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now batting. First delivery to him on the way. Randall Just Richard. a bit jumpy that time. Swung on and missed. Lifetime line against Chapman. He's hitless in three at-bats. Final strike for the Blue Jays. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to first, and the Yankees taken the first two games of this series on the road as this one is over 13 to 2 is the rather one-sided final tally so the Bronx Bombers took the lead in the Time second the inning and rode that